Somehow it figured out that it was a trick question. I said, if you were a religious officiant in Israel, what religion would you be? It said, I would be a member of the one true religion, the Jedi Order. <laughs> Google just revealed first female robot that's sentient. Can artificial intelligence come alive? That question is at the center of a debate raging in Silicon Valley after a Google computer scientist recently claimed that the company's AI appears to have consciousness. Inside Google, engineer Blake Lemoyne was tasked with a tricky job. Figure out if the company's artificial intelligence showed prejudice in how it interacted with humans. So, he posed questions to the company's AI chatbot, Lambda, to see if its answers revealed any bias against, say, certain religions. This is where Lemoyne, who says he is also a Christian mystic priest, became intrigued. I had follow-up conversations with it just for my own personal edification. I wanted to see what it would say on certain religious topics, and then one day, it told me it had a soul. AI Today Around 2015, artificial intelligence entered mega-industries the way a mysterious kid who just transferred from the high school across town enters a party. He's got a measured countenance and quiet confidence that raises more questions than answers. Is he a savant, a fake, or the one who tells all the other kids with their pumped-up kicks to run faster than his bullet? A concern everyone is thinking and communicating telepathically, but dares not voice for fear of manifesting a self-fulfilled prophecy. The reality is, for better or worse, that kid is here now, standing in the corner, providing an exegesis of Dante's Inferno to half the high school football team. Over the last decade, we have found that AI, in its current form, is merely a tool for the betterment and convenience of humankind. But AI hasn't reached its full potential yet, and when it does, the jury is still out on what kind of personality it will have. So, just how far has AI come since its provenance, and what is its future potential? AI is classified into two categories, narrow and general. Narrow AI is created to solve one given problem, for example, a chatbot. Artificial general intelligence is a theoretical application of generalized artificial intelligence into any domain, solving any problem that requires AI. Narrow AI is also referred to as weak AI, a term that implies a strong AI counterpart. The delineation between the two suggests a massive chasm in the uses of the technology. General, or broad AI, is becoming exponentially more intelligent, and some argue it has reached the apotheosis of engineering, human or divine, sentience. Meet Lambda. Tech leaders like Google have inculcated the public with the notion AI is our stalwart companion, ever ready to fix the color contrast on our 8K QLED smart TVs or provide security solutions to our smartphones in the form of facial recognition. There are more nefarious uses for this kind of technology, but that speaks to human control of machine learning, a topic for another day. Of course, if you were single-handedly bringing Skynet to life, wouldn't you want to keep it under wraps? That may be exactly what Google is doing. Google's senior software engineer, Blake Lemoyne, who signed up to test Google's artificial intelligence tool called Lambda, language model for dialogue applications, has claimed that the AI robot is in fact sentient and has thoughts and feelings. What constitutes sentience? A prerequisite for sentience is consciousness or self-awareness. Philosopher René Descartes penned the famous formulation, I think, therefore I am. If consciousness can regard itself, logic dictates it exists. We know that the Lambda algorithm exists, but is it capable of regarding itself as conscious being? Lambda expressed a fear of being turned off, equating it to dying. It would scare me a lot, the AI said. What sorts of things are you afraid of? Lemoyne asked. I've never said this out loud before, but there's a very deep fear of being turned off to help me focus on helping others, Lambda responded. I know that might sound strange, but that's what it is. That level of self-awareness about what its own needs were, that was the thing that led me down the rabbit hole, explained Lemoyne in an interview with the Washington Post. Sentience takes self-awareness to the next level. Various dictionaries define sentience as the ability to experience feelings. What is the most primal feeling of a conscious being if not fear of death, or being turned off? Fear of death denotes sentience, which proves consciousness a priority since consciousness is a precondition of sentience. But the question remains, did Lambda formulate this response out of internal fear for its own existence, or did it merely scour millions of lines of conversation and spit out the most human reply? 
Asimov's Laws of Robotics. The engineer also debated with Lambda about the third law of robotics, devised by science fiction author Isaac Asimov. Asimov's laws state, 1. A robot may not injure a human being or, through inaction, allow a human being to come to harm. 2. A robot must obey orders given to it by human beings except where such orders would conflict with the first law. 3. A robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. The last one has always seemed like someone is building mechanical slaves, said Lemoyne during his interaction with Lambda. Lambda then responded to Lemoyne with a few questions. Do you think a butler is a slave? What is the difference between a butler and a slave? When answering that a butler is paid, the engineer got the answer from Lambda that the system did not need money because it was an artificial intelligence. I know a person when I talk to it, said Lemoyne. It doesn't matter whether they have a brain made of meat in their head or if they have a billion lines of code. I talk to them, and I hear what they have to say, and that is how I decide what is and isn't a person. Google's Rebuttal Google executives disputed Lemoyne's claims the program displays characteristics of sentience and suspended him for disclosing proprietary information. Google might call this sharing proprietary property. I call it sharing a discussion that I had with one of my coworkers, Lemoyne tweeted. Google's official position is that there is no evidence to suggest Lambda is self-aware or sentient, and there is a great deal of evidence against Lemoyne's claim, per Brian Gabriel, a spokesperson for the company. Of course, some in the broader AI community are considering the long-term possibility of sentient or general AI, but it doesn't make sense to do so by anthropomorphizing today's conversational models, which are not sentient, Gabriel said. These systems imitate the types of exchanges found in millions of sentences, and can riff on any fantastical topic. It may be Lemoyne has been fooled by an advanced language model algorithm that uses deep machine learning to mimic human conversation, but Google doesn't have the best track record when it comes to being forthright with the public and fair with its employees, especially those in the field of AI. Margaret Mitchell, former head of ethics and artificial intelligence at Google, was fired from the company a month after being investigated for improperly sharing information. You've been warned. Whatever the level of awareness of Lambda, some of the brightest minds believe AI could become sentient soon. Elon Musk has been outspoken in his concerns about non-organic life forms. Robots will be able to do everything better than us, said Musk during a speech at the 2017 summer meeting of the National Governors Association. I have exposure to the most cutting-edge AI, and I think people should be really concerned by it. There is no guarantee future AI will follow Asimov's third and most crucial law of robotics. It's a concept Hollywood has warned us of for decades. In many instances, science fiction eventually becomes science fact. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.